Hi, I'm Michelle, and this is a quick introduction to the game of Spicy Dice. These are the six custom Spicy Dice. Each die has one face with red spots, and it's a different face on each die. The object is to score as many points as you can in these ten categories or boxes. You choose one box to score at the end of each turn. Let's play. Anytime you roll a red number, you may flip it to another number, but you have to decide right after you roll it. Red numbers also have special powers. Here's an example. In the fives box, for instance, you can score five points for each five that you rolled. But if one of them is the red five, your score doubles to ten points for each five. Here I have two fives, which normally would be worth ten points, but it's doubled to twenty. But I can also take this red three and flip it to a five. So now I have three fives doubled for thirty points. Let's keep those three fives and re-roll the other dice. So, I rolled a five and also a red four, which I'll flip into a five. Now I have five fives doubled. So I think I'll stop here and score 50 points in box five. Now, you may be thinking, why doesn't she take a third roll and try for another five? Well, most other dice games do give you three rolls per turn, but Spicy Dice has no limit. You get 30 rolls per game for the 10 boxes, and you decide how many to use for each turn. If I save a few rolls now, I'll have more rolls to use later. So when I record my score, I also mark off the number of rolls I used. If I use up all 30 rolls, I'll score zero in any unfilled boxes. But if I have any leftover rolls, I'll get a bonus of five points for each one. The other numbered boxes work the same way, so let's look at the last four boxes. A run is the numbers one through six. It's sort of like a straight in poker, but with six dice. It always scores 21 points, which is the sum of the numbers one through six. A set is three pairs or two triplets. You can also have a pair and a quad. It's a bit like a full house in poker. Again, you add up the numbers and score it in the set box. Now, the red numbers don't double your score for runs or sets. They do something different. They let you score your run or set in a numbered box instead. For instance, with this roll, I could score my 20 points in the set box, or the five box, or the one box. This is useful if the set box is already full, or you might want to score 20 points in the one box anyway, since it normally isn't very high scoring. And it's really good to score a run or set in there. For the sum box, just add up your six dice, and that's your score. Red numbers don't do anything special for the sum box. It's a good box to have when you have a lot of larger numbers that don't line up well with your remaining boxes. Finally, the red box scores 10 points for each red number, and other dice score nothing. Now, let's talk about the biggie, peppers. A pepper is either six matching numbers or six red numbers. Six sixes, fives, or fours is a big pepper, it scores 75 points in its home box, in this case, fours, or 50 points anywhere else except the bonus box. So you can always score a pepper. Six threes, twos, or ones is a little pepper. It scores 50 points in its home box or 25 points anywhere else. Finally, six reds is a hot pepper, which scores 100 points in either the red or run boxes, because after all, it is exactly that, a red run, or 50 points anywhere else. When your 10 boxes are filled, or when you run out of rolls, your game is over. Score your bonus box if you have any leftover rolls, and add up your score. Okay, so now you know how to play Spicy Dice. But if that was a bit too much to remember, don't worry. There's a cheat sheet built right into the score pad. The full rules are on the back. The score pad is good for over 300 plays, but you'll never run out because you can download and print extra score sheets at home from our website for free. Before you go, let's take a quick look at what's inside the box. You get a set of six 100% pearlized acrylic spicy dice in your choice of one of four cool colors. You get the score pad, cheat sheet, rules, and the pouch. 
It's big enough to hold everything, score pad, rules, and dice. Just grab it and go. You can also get expansion packs of dice in the same four colors. This lets you play with your friends with everyone having their own set of dice. Now, you can share the one set of dice in the box with any number of players, but it's more fun for each of you to have your own. Plus, that way you can add the extra spicy rules, which lets you continue your last turn from where you left off. Okay, so that's the quick overview. And remember, your one-stop shop for all things Spicy Dice is SpicyDice.com. Thanks for watching.